Welcome to a studio vlog. In this vlog, I'm gonna share with you some recent illustration projects that I finished and I'm actually happy with and proud of. So that's awesome. And then I'm going to try and make a stationary set and it's gonna be filled with self-doubt and, and, and just confusion and yeah. But there is an end product, so. Stay tuned for that, my friends. Um, what else? Nothing, I just do this because I'm just home alone. Today I wanted to take a moment to show some projects that I finished, which is like kind of rare. First, this project I worked on <laughs> in back in like May, I think. No, March actually. Um, so this is a planner. The art featured in this project was curated by Junior High, which is Faye, um, which is what, how I got involved in this project. And then uh, Daughters of Witches, this brand, is the one who produced it out in Poland. Um, both are really cool brands, and so I'm excited that I was a part of this because the artists that are in here are some artists that are like that I really look up to and that are just my favorite. So it's a fill of, you fill in your own dates. So um, it's a planner for whenever you need it. And this is my page. It's a print that I did. Uh, I think I made it back in March, something like that. Um, but there's some really cool pages in here. Let's see, it's my friend Grace's page. But it also, um, it comes with a little set of stickers, which is cool. And the planner, I got it in the lavender color got little ribbons on it um yeah i'm super excited to have been a part of this project and you can go buy it uh get organized get your life together thank you faye thank you daughters of witches for considering me and putting me in this really cool project this other project has been in the works since april um on and off you know it took a while to get off the ground but I've worked with my friend Camila, and she is a winemaker in Vermont, right? Yes. <laughs> um, and we made labels. Look how cool. And so um, I made this, the illustration, the logo for her before, but we redid the entire labels because she came out with quite a few. She came out with three different wines. Um, this is a sparkling white wine. This is a sparkling rosé. I'm gonna like get out of the camera so it focuses. And it's a super exciting project because usually I work a lot with digital, on digital projects. So I make GIFs or I make, you know, editorial illustrations. Everything is digital. Rarely does thing go, things go to print. So I feel really lucky to be able to share two cool print projects with you today. Um, and this, oh, it's so cute. I want to cry. Um, this red wine. I gotta cover my face so that it focuses. How cute is that? And my favorite, I mean like I love every part of the label, but the backs of the label are really fun too. No, focus on that, not my face. Um, <laughs> so it's so exciting. I love how the labels turned out. We worked really hard on them. Um, yeah. I don't even, I, I want to drink it, but like I, I feel like I shouldn't because they're so beautiful. Anyways, thanks you, Camila, for working with me, for sending me the wines. Yeah, it's such a fun project. More wines in the works. Um, yeah. Oh, and then something less exciting because I just printed it here at home. But my, um printable sheets, planner sheets. This one is the September calendar. You'll see there's a bunch of random stuff on there. 
it's not anything super exciting. Yeah. Um, but my weekly ones, they're full. You, this weekly one is full. I'm uh, getting ready to print another one for the next week. I had a busy week. So these are really fun to make. You can print them out. Um, I'll leave the link below so you can grab them. And I'm going to start working on the ones for October so they actually come out on time. My bad. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so aside from that, I have to work on... Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to work on a stationery set that my friend Izzy asked of me probably a month ago at this point. I'm sorry, Izzy. I've been tired. But it's fine. You're fine. I'm doing it now. So I need to work on the stationery set for a project that she's doing, which, you know, I'm not going to disclose too much. Um... Yeah, and I'm thinking I'm going to do a stationery set on the theme of like a community garden. The thing is that I don't necessarily know how I want to draw the people or even like what colors I want to use right now. But let's just start drawing. Let's just figure it out. Um, let's try to finally get started on Izzy's project. Oh, that's a good girl. Dear friend Izzy asked me like probably a month and a half ago at this point, I'm so sorry, um, to make a stationary set for a project that she's working on that I won't spoil. Um, and so I did something, insert, that had, that was nothing like what we talked about. So I just like went off into my own thing and then I was like, wait, this isn't what Izzy asked for. So I'm trying again, and this time I will stay on the right path because, I mean, I just like started drawing something and went like a completely other direction and it didn't make sense. So now I'm going to stick to it. Izzy wanted gouache, like, because I've been playing with gouache, and I wanted to paint, but I don't have a scanner. So I'm going to play with doing a digital gouache technique. Okay, so um, the other day I did some sketches of um, the theme, which is like a community garden type of theme. Let's see if you can. Yeah, so I just made these um, from, I looked up some reference images of like people gardening and at a market, and it's more like a farmer's market than a garden. And um, yeah, so I'm going to make these digital. for Izzy 
and I did them all digitally. So, you know, you saw this. And then we also worked on this set, which incorporates a lot of the same elements. And Izzy said, I like it. Cute. Do it for real. With real materials. Which is what I was dreading. But Izzy... If it was anybody else, I'd be so over this. But Izzy has a really great eye. I respect her as an artist. So I know that she's right when she says that it's better when I do it for real. With real gouache, real brushes, and real color pencils. So here we are. Honestly, I didn't do it that way because I bought these new brushes, so I was excited. Digital brushes, so I was excited. And I'm just not comfortable working in gua like in gouache. It's really experimental for me. So I felt weird to do something with that when I feel like I don't really have much control because I'm not good at using it. So what I've done is, since I have the digital ones, I printed it out. Okay, this is a print of the one you saw in Procreate. I printed it out. And I used my light table, this thing, just lights up, to trace it onto a piece of paper that now I'm going to use to draw. Which is funny because I drew it originally like this and I could have light tabled that directly and then gouached it. But I'm kind of glad I did it because now I have a color palette that I like. I know exactly how I want to draw everything and I have everything the right size versus here everything on this one everything was a different size so I'm glad that I'm taking this approach I have it all mapped out I know exactly what I'm going to do and since I don't feel comfortable using gouache this is better for me the last time I every time I've used gouache has just been for sketchbook stuff so not for final artwork so I've been kind of nervous but I'm ready we're gonna do it I have all of those colors I'm nervous, but I think it'll turn out good um, if I just stop worrying so much. So, yeah, let's do this.
Okay, we finished painting it. I will say that the Aritza, Aritza, what is it? Arteza, what the hell am I, I'm saying Aritzia, like, the Arteza gouache has cool colors and the pigment is nice, but it just doesn't like apply as smoothly as the acrylic gouache. I mean, it's literally like, probably like 900 times more expensive. Um, but when I mix the Arteza with white or black when I needed to, it just goes on so much nicer and the finish is so much more like, it just goes on more matte. It dries more matte and smooth, like on the first go. As opposed to the Arteza stuff, I have to really like layer it up and the more you layer it, the more splotchy it gets. So I don't love the finish of some of these, like, and the lighter colors, like, didn't go over the pencil marks. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. But I'll figure it out. Let's see. keeping the pencil like consistent size and it's just like I can't be as precious with it which is which I think is a good thing so this is the original and this is the scanned so I mean scanned this is the digital and this is the original the colors are kind of on point right Okay, so um, since that last clip, I gave the original art over to Izzy, so it's in her hands. Izzy's gonna make it look awesome. I trust her with my whole heart, so as soon as that's ready, you know, we'll share it on the internet. You'll see it. Don't worry. Um, what else? So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you even mildly enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i only have two followers you could be the third follower so imagine pretty cool videos and the art will only improve from here it's only gonna get better cheers